Welcome to another session of learntobuildit.com. Step two of this RV entertainment control center project that I'm doing. Um, I wanna be able to keep adding to this all the time. So today what I was gonna do is show you the uh, video side of it that I'm gonna do with the TVs and how I'm gonna deal with that. And then I will be able to, um, you know, have, like I said, a full entertainment center in here at least. Then we'll go into the control center next. Okay, here we go. Um, this is the video to show my entertainment. So I've got my net gear uh, mounted to the wall with just double-sided tape. Um, I have it set up. So what I do is I bought this hard drive case. It's just, this was just a case. It fits two hard drives, laptop size hard drives in it. Um, now I'm going to mount that on the wall also over here in a little bit. Just using double-sided tape, it'll have like a little flex and cushion to it. But the really nice part is, is it powers through USB um, that I'm hooking up over on the wall. It also power or plugs into the USB here on the router. And um, the cool part about that is it's using DLNA, which is uh, a digital library in a sense. I mean, that's not the acronym for it, but um, it uh, is a server for hosting videos. Here's a walkthrough to the back of the room. The front TV, obviously, to be able to get in there, I don't have mounted. So I also put a new TV in this whole project in the back. There used to be a tube TV mounted in that little box, a nine inch, and um, uh, might have been an 11 inch or something goofy. But anyway, um, what I did is I put a mount, a board in here, a mount in here, and I was able to mount this TV. It really fit really nice it's 24 inch um, because of the mounts and how they can rattle I put some foam on the mounting bracket um, and then I put some velcro down underneath in these corners so that it can't slide around or anything but as for the TV or as for the use of it the cool part about this is the sheer entertainment so not only do I have a Wi-Fi router in my unit we will talk about how I'm getting internet to my RV down the road. That's another part of this whole project, but I'm not at that point yet. I did buy the parts. But anyway, in this situation, the cool part is, is I'm able to have internet, see all these different things, but this is where my entertainment center comes in. Ruko Media uh, Player. Um, I'm going with Ruko. I do have Apple TVs and some other things, but the thing I like is it's just built on the TV. These TVs are very cheap. I mean, not fancy or anything, but we're in an RV. I don't need anything that crazy or anything like that. But I do want to have convenience. So the front TV is getting it from the Wi-Fi. This is getting it from the Wi-Fi. I can hit video and up comes my cursor server. And I'm able to browse the folders on the server. Now, we're even talking about when you're on the um, road, you want to be able to do some different things. You can uh, take pictures and put them on to this and show people your pictures. You can also throw music on here and just have the TV playing music. But in this case, we go to the videos, go to all my videos. As you'll see, I have 318 videos currently on here. And it's really nice because, I mean, I have 300 videos on here and look at how nice and easy they just scroll right through the videos. Um, it is a lot of videos to scroll through, but again, you're stuck in a rainstorm or who knows what. You want to be able to watch the movie RV. So just with a click of it, you can play the movie RV and away we go. Now, another goal of this whole project is to be able to use the same media server, media center, whatever you want to call it, and go to a portable um, or a projector outside. What I want to do is put a projector underneath. This will be a future project to look for. Put a projector underneath and be able to project this out to a screen. Part of the reason I want to do it is I walk around these RV parks and I'm staring at a TV like this as I walk through the park because their backs are to me and the TV's on the side of the RV facing out. Not only can I hear it, I can watch their movie across the hall while I'm at a campfire. Um, it doesn't bother me that other people do it, but I don't want to have it that way. So if I do the projector, I go stick the screen in the ground in the yard and I come back and um, 
I do the, uh, I set the RV facing them. So now I can see who's walking by. I can um, do all the different things and go from there. So anyway, that is how my entertainment works.